We're going to move on to 3.7, PO6-1441, and it's entitled Oak Tree. At the, it's a very good title, actually. Oak Tree at the Gate of the Dead should be given statutory protection by Cadu as an ancient tree. And I know that uh, uh, whoever's going to speak to this will be given a little bit of context and background in regard to this matter. But I'm going to read uh, the petition statement. Over a thousand year old, years old, this ancient tree is now very vulnerable after several trees recently have been targeted by criminals. The tree holds an important place associated with the Battle of Crogan in 1165. The tree should be placed under the protection of Cadu. The submitter is Carl James Langford, FSA Scott, and the signatures are 269 um, and 226 of those from Wales only. And obviously we're all very well aware of the um, not um, so far in the distant past uh, case of the tree that was cut down. Um, I invite uh, Peter Fox to discuss this petition, please, Peter, and uh, any actions that you wish this committee um, to take forth. Uh, thank you, Chair, and uh, thanks for outlining. And it's commendable to bring this forward. These 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 wonderful things need to be preserved. A thousand year old, this mm. this tree, you know, and they are vulnerable at that age. And uh, there is a responsibility on everybody to show concern. And that's why we were so shocked with what we saw mm. in the news recently, as you uh, just referred to. And uh, so it's commendable that this has, has come forward. And because um, uh, we all need to do what we can. And, and as you, you, you uh, shared, uh, this oak tree at the Gate of the Dead is located in the Church Castle. Uh, mm -hmm. grounds near the Offers Dyke um, and as you said um, the site of the 1165 Battle of Krogan and, and uh, you know over a thousand year old that tree has seen an awful lot of things uh, you know so it's right it's, uh, it's discussed and given some time. In 2014 the uh, oak tree um, came ninth in the European wide tree of the year competition it was entered into the competition by the Woodland Trust Wales. Now, whilst Cadu has no powers to protect specific trees, the oak tree um, at the Gate of the Dead sits within the Park of Church Castle, as I, I said, uh, which has been included in the statutory register of historic parks and gardens um, maintained by the Welsh Ministers at the requirement of the Historic Environment uh, uh, Wales Act of 2016. Um, but that, statu that, that act um, does not impose any legal restrictions, uh, restrictions on Wales historic parks and gardens to introduce uh, a, a new consent regime. Registered sites continue to receive uh, the current level of protection through the planning system. And we all know that uh, a herd of TPOs, uh, tree preservation orders, which the Welsh Government says are currently in place and uh, the most effective protection for a tree. Uh, because the TPO is quite extensive in what it, 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 in what it uh, um, prohibits. And, uh, you know, you cannot uproot, you can top in, lop in, willful damage. There's a whole range of different things that the TPO protects uh, against. Now, uh, back in 23, we discussed a, a similar sort of uh, petition, which was um, looking at uh, ancient and veteran trees in, in Wales. And, um, and I think that was called at the time, Stop the Chop. Uh, which called for greater protection for these uh, vulnerable trees, these old trees. And uh, members, when c um, uh, discussing uh, that uh, petition, uh, were ref reflecting on the Forestry Act of 1967, um, where greater protection of ancient trees um, was, a, was a, a key thing. And uh, the, the the committee at that time reflected uh, on that, and the minister has also noted that uh, the national planning policy has been updated on the back of that to uh, to strengthen the protection of all trees, including ancient woodland. Um, so um, it's commendable. We need to do more. It seems that the uh, the TPO is the only real uh, um, uh, tool uh, to make sure that this valuable tree is preserved. So. Um, you know, I've, I suggest to members that the protections in place already are 
are, ro are robust and we, we have to trust those TPOs um, and make sure that, uh, uh, you know, that um, uh, they are uh, uh, always in place to protect uh, these, these valuable assets. Um, we may also uh, note the work that's going on um, um, by the uh, Cabinet Secretary for Climate Change and Rural Affairs, um, who is calling for greater consideration of ancient trees during the scrutiny of the Agricultural Wales Bill. So I think with everything, Chair, um, recognising the work that the Cabinet Secretary is doing again, I think we can uh, confidently thank the petitioners for highlighting the situation and the importance of these ancient trees, ancient trees but close this particular. Uh, thank you very much, and um, I'm content to close the petition, but I do think this committee should be updated if there is to be any strengthening under uh, the considerations that are currently taking place, so perhaps we could ask for that to come to this committee if there is change, um, because as we all know, um, NRW prosecutes regularly those who fell TPO trees and ancient hedgerows um, and I think it's an area of interest and I'd like to uh, thank the petitioner for um, this very important um, petition in terms of our ancient landscapes that we do need to preserve for the future so we'll close this petition and get the update if there is any um, in future thank you very much Peter um, we're going to move to 3.8 uh, PO6